I wasn't able to speak and my arm went numb. Jenny Ledward knew something was wrong. And we were like, okay, we need to go to the ER. I was tested for pretty much every scary disease you can possibly think of. Doctors would soon discover Jenny had a life-threatening blood disorder called thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, or TTP for short, a condition where blood clots form in a person's blood vessels, blocking blood flow. My platelets were incredibly low. Um, and also my, a lot of my red blood cells have been destroyed. If I didn't get treatment very quickly, well, I could have died. The treatment Jenny desperately needed was a plasma exchange. My plasma, which was giving me this terrible problem, was got rid of and healthy plasma was put into my blood and put back into my body. My own plasma was separated from my blood through this machine. It was pretty amazing. A plasma exchange is a specialized, life-saving procedure that One Blood nurses are trained to perform. We are cycling the blood through the machine. We are removing the patient's plasma that is affected, and we are replenishing it or replacing it with donated plasma um, from donors who come in and donate blood. One Blood nurses are at the ready 24-7. Miranda Sawyer was alerted of Jenny's situation at midnight and sprang into action. If this patient's not ready till midnight and it's an emergency situation, you have to go. Every day for 21 days in a row, a One Blood nurse arrived at Jenny's bedside to perform the plasma exchange. Each procedure required approximately 10 units of donor plasma. Each unit of plasma came from a different donor, which means at the end of the 21 days, Jenny received plasma from 210 blood donors. It saved my life, so if I'd have not had all of those donors, I probably wouldn't be here. My kids wouldn't have a mom. What would happen if nobody donated blood? Seriously, what, I mean, what would happen? Think of all the lives that have been saved because of blood donation. And I feel like people take that for granted, that the blood's always gonna be there, but it's not there unless people donate. A year later, Jenny is in remission. Hello. <laughs> and she made a special stop at One Blood to be reunited with the nurses who never left her side. Did you kind of do something that saved my life? I feel like you kept me sane as well. I was with you for the first one. I don't know if you remember for your very first person. I remember it was in the middle of the night. Yes. I remember holding your hand sometimes, just sitting there. We weren't saying anything. And I would just hold your hand a little bit. The nurses were wonderful. All of them would sit with me. They really kept me sane and helped me in a very caring way through this experience. It was nice for me to come back and see them and get to hug them and say thank you. I would definitely say that all the, all the nurses are real heroes. We don't get to see the outcomes on a lot of our patients. And uh, so it is nice just to be able to, to see where she's at and where she's headed. The fact that she came here and took the time out of her day to say thank you means, means a lot. Um, because we just don't, we don't get that a lot. It really took a village. The nurses were wonderful, the doctors were wonderful, but they wouldn't have been able to help me if they didn't also have all the blood from the blood donors. So um, I really am um, eternally grateful. I do feel like I'm a medical miracle. For One Blood, I'm Susan Forbes.